11, the White House is working on plans for a presidential visit to South Florida to talk about Venezuela. And we're hearing from a former top Venezuelan official now living in forced exile in South Florida. CBS 4's Hank Tester live in Doral with all the details. Hank? Well, the president of the United States got together with the uh, president of Colombia today in the White House, and Nicolas Maduro, he weighed in. He called it a feast of hate against Venezuela. Well, here's the story. The supporters of Juan Guaido have the challenge of keeping the momentum going, keeping the pressure on Nicolas Maduro. In Washington, and speaking of pressure, the president of Colombia meeting with President Donald Trump. President Guaido who is the, the person about to lead this transition in Venezuela, has a strong support. Ask about U.S. plans for Venezuela? Trump responded. I always have plan B and C and D e and E and F. I have great flexibility. I probably have more flexibility than any man that's ever been in this office. The U.S. flex muscles, warning other nations not to buy Venezuelan oil. The U.S. has imposed sweeping sanctions on the nation's oil industry and hope that Maduro will step down, at least allow humanitarian aid into the ravaged country. This night in Doral, a meeting of judges from the Venezuelan Supreme Court, or at least until the Maduro government accused them of treason. These are the Supreme Court judges on exile because they're under threat of being arrested. In Venezuela, uh, we uh, was in danger of the uh, life of the, our family. They do function as a Supreme Court recognized by the Wado government. They just can't meet in Venezuela until... Wado is the only president in Venezuela. Uh, Nicolás Maduro is not a president. Okay, back live here, we can tell you, yes, President Trump in town at FIU on Monday, likely Monday afternoon. He'll be talking about, well, Venezuela and the dangers of socialism. I'm Hank Tester, CBS 4 News Tonight. It's back to you.